Hello, welcome, it's great to see you. Today we are working on day 13. We are working on the back of our double page spread for day 12. So I know I wanted something out of the pocket here. I have this letter to Santa that my niece wrote and I'm thinking about doing something really simple with this. So maybe stitching down the sides. I will make this a top opening envelope so you'll be able to get her letter in and out. Um, maybe add a tab onto it or something. But I think that might be a cool way to use this page. I need to work out if I can stitch this. So I'm not really sure that I can because the the letter needs pretty much all of that space. So we're gonna have to come up with something else to sort of add a border or something to this. Let's um, seal this down, do that first, and then we can just cut the top off. I do like this little North Pole postal service but I think the front has got everything you need really everything you need to see then I will literally just slice the thinnest bit off the top up here I'm just wondering how I can make this a little bit extra we are problem solving at the moment because I stuck this down and I realized that before I stuck it down, I added obviously all the tape onto the back. I had added tape onto the bit that would have been hanging off of the page and I couldn't get it off. So I've had to cut the envelope shorter than I wanted to. Originally the letter didn't fit, so I folded it again so that it will. Oh, my bits are all falling off at the back there. But now I need to work out if I'm gonna do anything else with this page. And also if I still want something poking up, I will have to add something. I have a little red label that I used on the other side. Where has it gone? Here it is. So I could pop that up there and then have obviously the number 13 on it. I think I'm tempted to go with these gold ones or I have the white that I've been using on literally everything. I even have these candy cane ones. I'm not so sure about. These ones are much more sparkly. What about these? Oops. Label. Quite like those. What else could we add? Oh, we could have an old Santa. That would be super cute. this guy. Let's turn it round. It'd be easier to work that way, wouldn't it? So if you had Santa and then your number 13. Like so. That's super cute. Maybe we could add something either side. Like a little ho ho ho. That's sweet. Okay, I might go for that. It's quite childlike, which I, I enjoy. Because obviously it's a kid's letter to Santa. Okay, I think that looks cute. And then I have got some of these snowflakes which have similar glitter to the number 13. So I'm thinking about playing with these, seeing if we can add a couple of them. I think there are different sizes, are there? Are they all exactly the same? They might all be the same. Seeing if we can add some of these 
let's cut some to put at the edge of the page. I've not cut that one very well. <laughs> Do we want it right at the edge of the page or just on our envelope? I think right at the edge will look best. This only works if I now chop off these little bits, otherwise it looks odd. Let's have one over here. There we go. Then try to find another little snowflake. Oh, there's these ones. And then some little gems, and I think we're done. There we go. I am racing against a dying camera battery, so I'm going to leave it there. I might add a couple of little glitter glue dots, like I often do, just to these clusters. But I think that will make a really cute little place to keep the kids' Santa's letters this year in the album. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow for day 14. Bye!